Oh, hello friends. Welcome back to The Fear of Painting, where I'm painting the Golden Girls, and I am joined by my friend, Brent. Brent, why don't you introduce yourself? Uh, hi, I'm Brent Black. I'm a video game developer and a YouTuber known as Brentel Floss, and I'm excited to do some painting today. Now, it's so nice to have a friend on the show, because we're painting four famous friends, the Golden Girls. Why don't we get back into it? Great. So if you are interested in painting along, we will have the names of the paints on the bottom of the screen for you. We'll be starting off with a titanium white to bring out some of those highlights in those hairs. So we're just gonna dab it a little bit here. Really get it nice and, and thin. We don't wanna overpower it with too much light color here. We just wanna bring out a little bit of the white. We'll put it in the front of the hair here and just swish it nicely to the side. Now Brent, why did you choose the Golden Girls? Well, I'm a big fan of the show, and you know, I feel like in a in a world where so many shows have canned laughter now. <laughs> you ever think about being old? Sure. Seems kind of peaceful in a way. Yeah, I, towards the end. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. So we're just gonna bring in this titanium white, nice and thin. These ladies, we want to show their age because they were proud of it, as they should be. They've made it so long into life. Why don't you tell me about your favorite character on the show? Oh man, definitely Rose, who's played by Betty White. She's actually the only one who's still with us. Why uh, do you think she's lived so long? That's a great question. How? She, she, How has she lived so long? Well, she loves animals. In real life, Betty so, White loves animals. Do you have any animals? I don't currently, um, but I've been thinking about getting a turtle. I have some animals of my own. Oh yeah? Cool. I have some hounds. Like like greyhounds or perhaps. Uh, what what are their names? One I like to call Darius. Okay. The other ones don't respond to names. Cool. They just like to appear when needed. Huh. Okay. So I'm just about done with these hair highlights. I don't know how you're doing with it. Oh, that's lovely. I'm, I'm, they're coming along. Yeah, yeah, I need to probably blend a little more on on uh, Sophia over here, but that's fine. When we're done here, we're gonna put in. A little bit more light on their faces because you need to understand the light a little bit better to understand true darkness. That's profound. That's yes. Wise words, I guess. I don't Did know you come up with that? Or? No. Oh. So I think that just about wraps it up on the highlights of the hair. Next, for the shadows of the faces, we'll be using a little bit of burnt sienna. So I have a new brush here, and when you start off new brushes, you kind of got to beat the devil no. into it. Uh, isn't the saying, beat the devil out of it? I, that's how I've heard it. Cool. So I'm just gonna thin this out a little bit, drag it right to the edge. Cool. And we'll just go around on the outside, really define that chin a little bit, and that neck. Now I'm going to bring in some shadow under this hair a little bit, just to make that hair pop. Really contrast the light and the darkness. You ever think about the darkness of this one? You know, sometimes I do. I, I, I try, I guess, not to not to focus on it. There's, there's, all, there's a lot of it, you know. But that's why I like the Golden Girls, because, you know, it's pretty pretty light um, mm -hmm. comedy. But three of them are dead, right? Y yeah, three of them have, have passed away. So who is the second lady? Is she one of the dead ones? Uh, well, yeah, she she is. She has passed away. The The character's name is Blanche, played by Rue McClanahan. She's kind of the the Southern Belle. What does she enjoy in life? Uh, well, she, she really does date a lot of men. They're always making fun of her for that, because it was kind of like... A different time. And how does she deal with the naysayers? Oh, she's she's always quick with the comeback, you know. Mm -hmm. She'll kind of whip right back at you if you if you go after her. Whip as in verbally? Or yeah, like, oh. yeah. Just, you know, like, like whip smart. Mm -hmm. So who is this third lady? So this is Rose, uh, who is played by Betty White. And um, she's kind of uh, not super bright, but very sweet. 
Um, she has kind of a hidden, super competitive side. What is she super competitive with? Uh, sports. Anytime she's involved with sports. Love sports? Kind of, I don't, I've seen the whole series. There's a lot of seasons. I don't think so. What did you say the actress's uh, name Betty was? Betty White. She is the one that's still with us, correct? Yeah. Yeah. I need to contact her. Okay. She's like to congratulate her. Yeah. For living so long. Yeah, she's... She is definitely... How old would you say she is? I think she's in her early 90s. If I'm not Perfect. mistaken. Yeah. So you're going to contact her? Yes. Like her agent? So I'm going to move on to this fourth woman. Okay. What's this fourth woman's name? So the actress is Estelle Getty. There's a common misconception that she's the youngest actor on the show. She's just not the oldest, is the thing. But they put her in age makeup to, to make her look like significantly older than the rest. Why would they do that? Well, it's kind of dark, but probably because hiring a, a actor that was the actual age she was supposed to be probably wants somebody that's a little more spry and probably has a little more, more life to live, which is a, a topic you, you know, seem to be interested in. So this is kind of in your wheelhouse. Um, but yeah, she was, uh, she was younger than B. Arthur. Interesting. So we're just bringing in these facial features, and we want them to look happy, because they're happy to be together. Yeah. While they still live. Um, would it be cool to fill the meter real quick, like, just to... We only have a limited amount of time here. Okay, okay. I suggest you stay. Oh, no, like, okay, that's fine. We've got four friends here, and we're two friends here, and we've got the friends at home. And I think it's time we bring in another friend. Mm -hmm. So for this next set, we're going to use Poison Purple and Summoner's Black. Sounds dark. <laughs> it is. Cool. So we're just going to mix in this black and purple, and purple is a nice color, right? Yeah. Color of flowers and... The best Ninja Turtle. Bruises. Yeah. Grapes. Starless guy. You know a lot about colors. That's my job. Hmm. So we're going to put this friend front and center because you should always make your friends feel welcome, especially in a new environment. Wait, which friend? Our new friend. Oh. We're just going to add him right here. Here's the brow. Okay. Is this like a one of the one of the guest stars on the show or? Unclear. Okay. Maybe it's. One of the new ladies, Bo. Okay. <laughs> All right. That sure. That yeah. second character you mentioned, the hussy. Yeah, yeah. That's um, that's Blanche. So I'm painting in a mouth for our new friend because how else will he devour the lovely dinner that they've made for him? Yes. Mm hmm So we need to add some features to this man. Uh huh. So we're going to use a little bit of blue. So like all the other colors are all. Spooky. Is this like asphyxiation blue or something? No. Just sky blue. Sky of the dam. Yes. So we're going to use this big, powerful brush of ours to add in the features of our friend. We're going to add him with all of his glory. And just... Is that a horn? He has horns? Yes. Our new friend. Has some beautiful horns that he's very proud of. I really need to fill the meter. I don't want to get a ticket. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go out for a second. I will be. I mean, one of our, one of our friends can take no, care I, of that. I, I'm you, nope. I'm good. Care. I will be right. But I. Okay. 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 Uh, thank you. One I, of our friends will take care of that for you. Okay. Let's get back into the show. Pick up the paint. Cool. Well. Yep. I will do that. It won't matter soon anyway. <sighs> okay. So this painting is really blue, and that's not... That doesn't make for a very interesting painting, so we're going to add a little bit of blood red into this blood red. painting. Blood red. There you go, my friend. Oh, you put it on there. It's blood. Didn't know what I expected. Cool. So we're going to use this red. Cool. I'm just I'm putting it onto the tip of my brush here. Great. Now I'm just gonna 
No, Wait, don't. why are why is that red? Why is that I red? Give attention to their this eyes. is not. This is supposed to be like nice. Like I like the. You, that's not. That is not how they looked on the show. What do I? You want me to? You want me to make their eyes red? Is the thing. Yeah. I wanted to own this and take it home with me, and now it's ruined, and I'm creeped out, it's and none of you are answering me. If you complete the painting, Brent, you'll see that it all comes together. I do not like this. For the glory. Okay, cool. I will do this. I'm a professional. For the glory of the old one. The old. The mysterious. This is, the sacred. It's bullshit. Let's Who is this fifth guy? I've seen every episode. I was being nice. This is not a thing they did on the show. I think you're doing something creepy that I wasn't told about. It's the lost episode. And the damned episode. Let's just complete this mark here. Just what is that about? What is that about? This friend I don't... has very specific stipulations for when he comes over. I don't like this. I don't want to do this. Well, the ritual is complete. Praise be the old one. Oh. Well, our friend is gone. That's a shame. Well, at least we have our new friend. And you. Thank you so much for joining us today on this episode of Fear of Painting. Can't wait to see you next time. Have a damn today. The Fear of Painting was recorded at the YouTube Space New York in conjunction with Drawfee the Musical Live. Drawfee's next live show, Drawfee Mania, will air on Wednesday, April 25th at 7 p.m. Eastern. If you would like to be part of our live studio audience for that, you can follow the link below to RSVP. Otherwise, be sure to tune in live on youtube.com slash Drawfee. Special thanks to the YouTube Space and to viewers like you. We're sorry.